Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to the Who's on Indie. Things with strategy, tactics, and survival indie games to your face holes. Today's impression is Apocalypse, which is a civilization kind of city survival game. Let's go skip through this. Basically, radiation has happened, world has happened, we're needing to survive and build. Now let's go straight up build, go sort of Africa. And what you do is, it's uh, mostly... Where's my music? Mostly going to be this screen. You're slowly building up stuff and watching numbers of citizens, buildings and so on slowly grow. So we want to have people explore. Exploration explores the world. As you can see, we're exploring to see what's here. As you can see, resources now exist. We need resources, which allows us to get water, which allows us to get food, which allows us to get wood. And then you slowly start building further and further. Let's drop this down and have like one person here. Well done! Yay! So, we need to start finding wooden space to build on. Now, of course, that allows me to start building other things. Now, as you go in, you'll get research. Research allows us to get houses. Houses has allowed us to find things to do. Because now I can build a house if I have the wood and the people. Let's actually have one person less doing it. Houses allow us to bring in more people, of course. And if you look at the top right, it shows you what I'm currently doing. Now, the game is obviously uh, basic, but starts building up significantly. But you probably already decided if you do or do not like it, because there isn't too much more outside of this screen. Something's at the door. Now I'm what was I doing? Um, oh yeah. So obviously you explore, but it's all about, at the beginning, scavenging all the resources you can. Obviously it's teaching me things. It's obviously like, you know, checking objectives. So it's teaching me how to do everything for what my achievements are. But your goal is, of course, not to scavenge, to rebuild society. Which means you need a lot more houses. Which means you need a lot more things. Like, right now we need to get more people to water, more people to food. Like that. And the more houses we have, the more people come to us. Because, of course, if you build a village, people randomly appear out of the wild. That's how it works. I don't know why, but that is how it works. But yeah, the game, obviously... You already know by now whether you like it. Right, because you do have to keep build up, you have to research. We need pumps and things because water will run out. Obviously, trees will run out if we don't actually start preparing for that as well. We obviously have scavengers out there. We have civilians exploring. But it is about growing things. But like I've said, if you're not a big fan of uh, lack of graphics, it's not for you. It's not for you. There we go. Okay, so now we need to get some pumps. Yeah, I'm literally trying to do that as we speak. Stop it. See public jobs of builders, we can build some stuff, we can research, I obviously want a planted forest as well. They also obviously do this. So we have some research, I think we're getting some as like extras. But we also need a planted forest, we need a farm, because we need to of course make sure we have these resources permanently around. But as you can see in the top, we build so many things at once, unless we have people prepped. So we'll be needing more people, so let's, I don't know, let's have a couple of builders. There we go, now things are much faster. And now I can actually stop putting people into actual water. You can see where the queue is, you can see where, where things are being built. But yeah, there's not really uh, too much in the way of graphics. Obviously you need to get more re more things going on, but it's basically a game of numbers. You've probably played a lot of these games in the early 2000s, the online ones where numbers did things, and that was it. That's what this is, numbers. But yeah, I only have... Oh. Okay, go away. Uh, so to, to explore. Okay. Done. Like, we can only have so many building slots. If I remember correctly, they are these. 133 building slots. Which is more than my first test. Where I had 80. This place just must be nicer. But yeah, it's all about scavenging everything you possibly can. And then, you know, slowly falling back into the rest of it. Which is what it is. Food's looking good, that's food, that's water, that's build spots. Of course, as you can see, there isn't much in the way of 
options, to be fair, because you don't need options in this kind of game. Uh, let's get another one there. Two manual pumps, good. We've got two sets of farms going. 8.5 8 a second, 4.5 and a half water a second. Let's get loads more scavengers. We need to basically clear out the entire area so we can actually take people off of scavenging. Yeah, there's no more natural water sources as you can see. We have three manual pumps getting the water out. So we can only have three here, but obviously we can have as much wood as we like. But we of course still need to get rid of it. But as you go on, you start needing like thermal plants, which turns wood into energy, then we can start building power, we can start building more advanced things, eventually learn to research as you can see. There's now ways to ex what is this? Explore these two and a half percent of your territory. We need more exploration going on. And eventually we can start invading other people apparently. Let's get another ten of these. So mining plant of course will allow me to get resources. Thermal plant will allow us to get power. Power of course we don't really need yet but we can get it. We have plenty of food. We have a lot of water. Still scavenging as much water as possible. We're still of course exploring the area finding more things to do. There we are. And yeah. It is literally just build your city up. Up, up. Build your city up, up, up. Nuclear power plant. Genetic farm. Modified food. Oh no, people are going to go crazy over that one. Roads. We need resources we don't have yet. What do you want me to do? 2.5%. 2.7. Now what? Assign at least 10 bu at least 10 builders. Fine. Yay! Stop surviving get assigned to works as a mining plant. Is that build yet? No. There we go. Then it's water. Build a school. Upgrade your mining plant to mine iron. Build a hospital. I see. But as you can see, you start really starting to live a little. What's about this pump? Automated pump. Okay. Do that. That would be here. We need to build that using that resource, which we do not have. Oh, it's stone. We need more. Wait, what do we need? We need power. Okay. We need the thermal plant. We're scavenging energy. How are we scavenging energy? Oh well. I'll take it. I'll take it. Minus five natural water source. We don't have any more water sources. We can't use this. Okay, we've got the school. Grab the hospital. That'd be public jobs, I think. Build a school. Hospital requires a lot more. That's fine. Need more scavengers. Got so many resources now. Needs to be grabbed. Let's get another ten houses. Got a school. Good. Public jobs. I'll be teachers. Need ten more teachers. Just straight up scavenging power, though. Uh, can't build this, we have no extra water sources unless we explore. Maybe we have to invade. Don't think we have the military for that. There's the war factory there. To produce tanks. How are we producing tanks? Some weird options here. There we go. What's next on my list of things to do? Upgrade for iron, build a hospital. Okay. Wanting to upgrade for iron? Oh, easy. Extra mining plant. I need to get a license for that? What? Upgrade 
like that. That's good. That allows me to get iron. Thermal plant we don't really care about. So now we can have two of these. As you can see, we don't have any iron or uranium. There are 23 deposits available, but we are still exploring. Twenty percent iron, ten wait, eighty percent stone. Go to school. So now we're getting the iron we need. Need more resources. What do we need? Two K stone. Got that. Ten building slots. A thousand wood. Two K stone. That's a thousand. Co ah, okay. But yeah, building slots of course become a bit of an issue. Got plenty of food, plenty of water. Got a rain collector. That takes 10 slots, really? Oh wow, because the burning slots are suddenly available. I found more water sources, okay. It's because we're still exploring, I think. Another 20 houses, stop building roads. Another one of these as well. But yeah, it's all about building, watching the numbers go up, watching everything go around. As you can see, explorers occasionally find a huge amount of awesome things. As you see, stop going down, you can see more things. But yeah, there's not too much to it. It's just watching growth happen, I think, more than anything. I can't believe we found more water. But never to stop scavenging at this rate. We're out of water completely. Oh wow, we actually did run out of water. Okay, that seems better. 40 done. So yeah, that's it. That's what I think we're done. I think we're settled. I mean, not that it really matters, to be fair. Like, numbers keep going up as we explore more. The more exploration we have, obviously, the better. We don't have any kind of power. But yeah, it's a golf course, isn't it? I am kind of curious. I imagine it's be much better as a multiplayer game than anything. It feels like those games where numbers start getting so high, you start fighting other people and you like do it overnight and so on. At the moment it's just, yeah, it's alright. It's alright. Yeah, the rain collector's doing better now. another farm. More water. Plenty more wood coming through. There we go. But yeah, it's not too much um, to it. I know it's going to start throwing a curveball or something in the future, but it's alright. That's really all I can really say. It's like, there's not too much to it. But it obviously kicks all the good boxes. Music's alright, although I think it's literally the same track looping over and over again. Sounds uh, pretty much click, 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 and that's all you really need. Conquest and economic. Okay. So I've got a filtering station active now. Got a rain collector. Make another one of those. Health's good. Plenty of idle people now. There we go. Thermal plant's doing well. Wood's doing well. Another one of these. Two of these, why not? And it gets to the point where there is literally an option called quality of life. Where you can up the number of people you assign. So yeah, it's just growing, increasing numbers. 
And that's what it is. Just growing increasing numbers. Eventually you have so many people you don't really care what they all do. Like you want to build 20 of something at once. You can. Okay. Securing your borders, build a war factory. Okay. Thousand citizens. So yeah, it's just growing numbers. Numbers go up, things go up. Ah. I used to play a lot of games like this. In the 2000s, I remember playing Astro Empires, which was a space game. You fought other empires in space. I was Delta 6 1. I wonder what Beneath's up to. I wonder if he still thinks about me. I'm pretty sure he's still playing. Just weird, all those games you used to enjoy, and I was just like, eh, I wonder what happened to them all. It's one of those odd things of life, isn't it? Six plus two. So I've got so many people scavenging. I don't even need anyone to actually do anything useful. Yeah, this what it is anyway. This has been Simpocalypse. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Obviously, there hasn't been too much to talk about. Uh, I've been the Fallen Shogun. Hope you enjoyed it. Ciao, snails. We will be awesome. Be epic, and I will, of course, be seeing you next time. Next time with more graphics. Take care and stay safe out there.